Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I created these watercolour flower nails. I chose this design from a print on a Nika handbag. This is the print that I'm going to be recreating on the nails. It's quite a free style design. So to start off I'm using a base coat and I'm using MUA's clear polish and just applying that to every nail and then leaving it to dry. The next polish that I will be using is Barry M's Jelly Polish in shade Lychee. On this design I applied two coats of polish leaving them to dry in between. And this is how the polish will look after two coats. The next polish that I'm using is Sally Hansen's in shade Orangey Cute and I'm applying this to a plastic sheet and then I'm using a cotton bud soaked in nail polish remover and then dabbing that into the polish. Using this technique to create the flowers gives them a more watercolour effect and the polish goes clearer towards the inside and darker towards the outside like paint. For the design I then used the cotton bud to apply in random areas different flowers. Using the cotton bud that soaked in nail polish remover makes the polish go on more like paint and creates a less even effect. I then began to do the leaves. I used Rimmel's Lasting Finish Pro in shade Rags to Riches, which has a nice shimmer to it. And I did the exact same effect, applying it underneath the flower pink. I then used Maybelline's Forever Strong in shade Purple Reflect and a very small nail art brush from Amazon to do some of the detail on the flowers. I started by adding the darker colour around the edges of the flower and then adding in some extra little details in the centre of the flowers. I did this across all the nails, adding in a lot more detail but not being perfect about it, like the design on the bag. I then use the green again with the paintbrush to outline in dark green. This gives the leaves a bit more definition. I didn't worry about being overly neat, it's a very loose design, it's, it's a very watercolour style effect. I then began adding in the lines that were seen on the print using the flat end of the brush and just working in, adding lines where I thought were necessary. It was really easy to do with the nail art brush that I chose and I did this across the nails, doing it in different areas. I then used Revlon's Colour Stay in shade Rainforest 220 to add in some darker green. This enhanced the leaves and the lines and also added in a different tone and a bit of sparkle. I did this in the same way across all the nails, adding in a bit more definition Once this was finished, I added a top coat using the MUA Clear Nail Polish again. 
And that's my finished result. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe below. Bye.